What's going on guys? Welcome to another math episode where I'll be taking you at the Happy Crab in Chicago. I don't know what I'm doing here because I'm allergic to shellfish, but let's go in there anyways. All my friends are forcing me to eat here. <laughs> it's a happy lobster about to get eaten right now. Oh. What's going on guys? What kind of a tipper are you, BJ? Good. No, you're not. <laughs> I am. 18% every time. 18? 18? 20, <laughs> man. 20. What kind of a tipper are you? Good one. <laughs> what makes you want to tip well? Oh, good service. That's it? Yeah, and good food. So if the food sucked, you tip less. <laughs> Why is that the waiter's fault? How about you? Good and fast service, if they're nice. He's trying so hard. I already have a girlfriend, you want to try so hard. The <laughs> <laughs> whole point of this exercise is to be able to do this in your head, that way you don't need to ask your friend or pull out a phone to calculate tip. So tip 20%, which is my usual norm, I would do these three steps. Let's say our bill is 57.50. First step is to round it to the nearest dollar, so we have easy numbers to work with. So let's round 57.50 to 58. Second step. Find 10% of that number. So to find 10% of a number, all you have to do is take the decimal place and move it one place to the left. 10% of 58 is just 580. The last step, to calculate 20%, all I have to do is double this number. I'm just doubling 10% basically. So if I double 580, I can add it to itself or I can do 580 times two. You can do that in your head and you get 1160. Let's say you feel a little cheap and you didn't get good of service. You only want to tip 15% and our bill is $64.32. You can still do this in your head and the steps are similar. Number one, round your answer to the nearest dollar. So I'm going to round $64.32 to 64. Second step, find 10% of that rounded number. So 10% of 64, move the decimal place one place to the left, is just $6.40. Third step, I'm going to get that $6.40 and just cut that in half. So what you're really doing is that you're just calculating 5% of your rounded number. Because half of 10 is 5, so half of 640 is just $3.20. And then the last step, Add the results of number two and three together. So I'm gonna take $6.40, add it to $3.20, and what you're really doing is that you're just adding 10% of a number and 5% of a number to calculate your 15% tip. $6.40 plus $3.20 is $9.60. Boom. A little trickier, but trust me, practice, Eat at a lot of restaurants and you can start tipping really well in your head. What percent of a tip do you expect from anybody that goes here? At least hoping you're 10 to 15. 10 to 15? Wow, you're really nice. I thought you were going to say 20. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're not tipping 20. Boof, <laughs> boof, Oh my god. How much should we tip on this check? Right. Let me go through this last scenario and let's say you are feeling super generous and you want to tip that baller 25% because you had awesome service. You could still do this in your head. So my bill was 98.90. I'm just going to round that answer. Instead of 99, that is the nearest dollar. I'm just going to round it to 100 so it's even easier. Man, you guys are lucky. This number is really easy to work with. The second step is just to divide that rounded answer in half. So half of 100 is $50. What you just did there, dividing in half, is calculating 50%. The last step, half that result again. Because if you have that result again, you're halving 50%, which is half of 50 is 25. So half of $50 is just $25. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you calculate a 25% tip. Just round your answer, divide that answer in half, and then divide that result again in half. 
to get 25%. Easy day! This is my lobster voice saying thank you for watching my video. Throw me a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out some of our real life math videos. Until then, I will see you on the next... Man, give me that! <laughs> That's so sick!